Okay, hi, I'm Kylie. I'm Sarah. And today we're going to unbox the goal with you. So we got some sponges. A timer. Comes with a timer. Sponges. Some clothes. Neatly packaged. Another sponge. Some tape. Cutting and crayons. Lock and key. We also have some play some utensils, tennis ball, some work sheets, and a clipboard. Okay. And then the sports. Yes. And some <laughs> score sheets. And then we'll go through each one too as we go through the seven different um, like assessments that it does. So one of the assessments is based on utensils. So that utilizes the utensils. We have some Play-Doh for some cutting activities, um, some cups, we so get some water. The utensils work on fine motor, um, so bilateral coordination, it. stability, sequencing and planning, and strength. <laughs> you nervous, I'm so um, So, another fine motor activity would be using the lock and key. So, that they would have to use their um, unilateral preference to use the key to unlock the keypad. Um, they have to use planning and stability and their visual motor skills. Mm -hmm. And then there's also the combination lock. So for that one, it would be more like planning and sequencing and then trying to unlock it that way. So that's another one. Then we also have a paper box activity, which is a couple of sheets with some things that the kids can color. And then they also can work on things like cutting with that to cut them out, folding, taping. And then that is a lot of different things, planning sequencing, there's the proprioception, it's tactile. Stability and endurance. And then we have a notebook activity. Which I don't, we don't actually have the three ring oh. binder, do we? Oh, we do. <laughs> Perfect. So you have a three ring binder for that one. That opens up and it has the... Um, the colored tabs that you need to section out the different areas. So for this, and one of the just some oh. papers, blank papers with different colors. Yeah, and one of the activities would be like opening and closing the rings, um, and that works on bilateral coordination, stability, and proprioception. <laughs> oh, that didn't close. <laughs> And then we also have clothes, which are, so you have the child, you would like kind of lay them out. We have different colored t-shirts, so you could do kind of, what would that be like, visual? Like yeah. So you could say like which color they should grab. And organizing. And then we have some shorts as well. Um, and that one was just pretty much the vestibular, the proprioceptive, planning to like plan which one you're asking balance. them to do, balance while they're trying to put the shirts on or put the pants mm -hmm. on. And endurance, because it does take a lot and of effort. And you can also like test like their speed of like how proficient they are in dressing themselves. So it comes with that. Okay. The next one is ball play. Um, so that one you use the tennis ball for. One of the activities is that you just have them use the bilateral um, hand coordination and they just have to see how many repetitions they can do back and forth between hands. So they need to use their visual motor to make sure they don't drop the ball, um, weight shift with the ball going between their hand, uh, temporal and spatial organization, and endurance. Mm -hmm. So that's one of those. And then there's also like a tall. Um, there's dribbling, kicking it. Mm -hmm. Um, different ones and then there's also a tray carry activity this is the one that you need the most space for so you need at least a 20 foot long and five foot wide hallway or room 
so that you can have two chairs and then you can have them carry the tray from one side to the other um, which is like they give you a clipboard for that so this would be the tray you would use the cups for that as well fill them with water have them on here and then they're carrying the tray from one chair to the other and that's looking at that um, vestibular proprioceptive you're looking at their alignment their stability while they're doing it balance weight shifting because of the water and stuff and speed and then just kind of overall like planning and sequencing too of how they're going to do that and that's it so and that's that the is goal. the goal <laughs> Okay, so we're going to just go into more depth now about some of the assessments, kind of give you a feel for them, show you how you would administer them, um, the things you would tell the um, child, and then what they look like in action. So the first one is a fine motor task. Um, we're using utensils and so and Play-Doh. And so they're gonna, the child will use this knife and a fork and cut the Play-Doh into 10 pieces, about um, a half an inch thick. And so this one is based on speed, so they have to, you would time them to see how long it takes to cut into 10 pieces. Mm -hmm. And then they're going to be like stabilizing with the fork. They have to use bilateral coordination, planning, sequencing. And you're making it for them. But that's okay. We all, we're just like set and making things more difficult for ourselves. Well, remember, this is a lab activity, so it's graded 10, 9, 8, 0. I know you did. We tried for success. Ten would be great, but yes. Okay, and ten. So then after that, you would have your stopwatch that you would be timing them with, and then you would see how long it takes them. And then there's um, three different categories. So it can either take them from 61 seconds to 120, 31 to 60, or 30 seconds or less. And then that's how you score them for that one. Mm -hmm. Um, so then the next activity we are looking at is the notebook. So it would be assembly. So this one is assembling your three ring binder that comes with the kit. And then you have some different colored papers in it. And yellow, this, blue, and white. And divide. So for this one, you're going to be administering it by telling them how to set it up, like step by step. If I can open this. So, like we said, when you open the notebook, you'll see there are some rings inside. You can open the rings like this and close them. So you open them and close them. So now look at these sheets of paper. Each of them has three holes that go into the rings, like this. Like that. Um, so you're going to pick up the... Okay, so you're going to pick the color, the tab that matches the color of the paper and put them together. Oh. So you would put the yellow and then you would put your yellow divider and have them match those up. And then you would have them find the other ones. So you would find the blue, find your blue paper and have them match that up. And then there is just the one other color, which is the white. And there is a white tab. So you would have them find both of those. And match it up. So for this, if the child closes the ring, the binder and the rings in 240 seconds or less, you would uh, check N1 for the rings row of the performance record. Um, so it can go 60 seconds or less, it takes them 61 to 120 seconds, or 121 to 180 seconds for the assembly. Okay, so that's another um, part of the assessment. Okay, so now a gross motor one would be the, the floor to wall. So we can move a little closer. 
And this activity is trying to bounce the ball from your hand to the floor to the wall. And then the administer um, would see how many repetitions you can do. So for this, um, I want you to throw the ball with your preferred hand so it bounces on the floor, then hits the wall and comes back to you. Catch it with the same hand and they would stay behind a line. So like say this would like a line. So the goal would be to see how many times the child can do this within 30 seconds. And this works on visual, bilateral coordination, full body accuracy. Perfect. So that is some of the assessments in a little bit more detail. Uh, thank you. That's the goal. <laughs>